Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and variations thereupon. My name is Sal, and today I'm doing a tutorial for this glittery, shiny, galaxy type inspired look. I really, really enjoy doing this. I'm not gonna lie. If at the end of the video you have enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to leave me suggestions for things that you would like me to do or if you would even like to come on and maybe do something with me, that would be super cool. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, so the first step that I did for this off camera because it looks gross and eh, was to put in some black contact lenses to just blend in with the upper half of my face when we're finished with this. So, aside from the contact lenses, first main face step I'm going to do is prime, and for this I wanted to just sort of apologise to my skin for what is about to happen, so I'm using the Galan Pure Radiance uh, Primer. So I'm going to take just a couple of squirts of that, and I'm just going to cover my face with that. Okay, so now that is done, I'm all moisturised. I'm going to start working on the lower half of my face just because that is the quickest, easiest bit. So I'm going to go in with my normal foundation and a damp beauty blender and just do what I usually do with my face on the lower half. Okay, so that is the lower half of foundation done. I'm just going to set it with my regular powder and my normal big pad puff. And just as a final step to sort of secure the lower half of my face, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder and just a damp beauty blender and I'm going to just go over all the powder on my face and just bake the lower half of this. That will also help to catch any fallout from what is going to be occurring on the upper half of my face. Okay, so the lower half is now baking nicely and we can move on to the top. Now this, I've done it once before, as some of you may have seen, but um, <sighs> it does take a while. So obviously I will speed it up because I don't want this to be half an hour of me wiping eyeshadow on my forehead. But to begin with, I am going to go in just with a little angle brush and the Morphe 12C palette. And I'm going to use the black colour there just to define where the black is going to start going up there. Okay, so for now this bit doesn't have to be especially neat because we're going to blend it down a little bit later. Okay, and also just to prepare everything for the enormous amount of just fuckery that's going to be happening, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and the Sugar Pill Cold Chemistry palette and I'm going to take Soot and Stars from that and just go over my eyes so I don't have to worry about damaging any of the really delicate skin under there with my fingers. Okay, we are, we are really working the panda war boy aesthetic at the minute. So I'm going to continue using Soot and Stars for that, but I'm going to use my finger just because it gets more coverage over larger areas. So dip into that with my finger and cover the entire top half of my face in black glittery eyeshadow. And we're done. Oof, blimey. I've missed quite a bit there. Oops. <sighs> and we're done. So, the next bit that I'm going to do for this is I'm going to add some more, some more shiny things. Because it's meant to be sort of a galaxy glitter themed upper half. So to begin with, I'm going to go in with... Partridge from Colourpop and just that same finger that I used for the black and I'm just gonna dab it very gently 
kind of in the bits where I want that sort of greeny duochrome colour to be. Okay, and now I'm going to use another cool pop eyeshadow, and this is Dance Party, which is kind of it's a shimmery purple colour. So again, finger, smear it where you want, it's all okay. Right, now that is pretty glittery, pretty happy with it. I am going to go in with something that I will be using later in this tutorial, and that is the Lime Crime Diamond Crusher in Trip. And I'm just going to pop that kind of just all over, again, just mixing it in with everything else. Okay, so the glitter is really coming through now, which I am very much enjoying. So just, as I said earlier, we're going to blend out this kind of bit here, just to sort of smudge it down a bit. After that, I'm using the same fluffy brush from earlier. I'm just going to very gently blend it all down. Okay, so now that line is softened, we can brush away the bake, which I'm going to use my flat foundation brush for and just dust off the remaining loose powder on my lower face. Okay, and just going back to focusing on the eyes, I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Aqua XL pencil and just boop that in my waterline, just to completely... Don't mind my sooty hand. Just to completely bring the whole eye look together. Honestly, my poor eyes at the minute, they are, they are not happy. I mean, you can't really see, I don't think, but they are... Whew. Ooh, they're going to be having some issues. So to finalise this whole upper half, I'm going to go in with one of my many, many tiny samples, and this is the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. All right, and that is the top half done. I really like this look. I like how just sort of weird it looks, especially with the contact lenses. It's so good. I love it. If I, you know, if I do say so myself, I look pretty cool. So, bottom half. Again, I've, I've got a makeup wipe for my hand. So it's just, I've just accepted it now. It's going to be sooty for the rest of this tutorial. Okay, and just sort of highlight kind of here, my nose and my cupid's bow. I'm going to go in with the NYX illuminator in ritualistic and just a fan brush okay and just because that wasn't quite quite as intense as i was wanting it to be i'm going to use the um i'm going to use the cover effects custom enhanced drops in celestial just pop a bit on the back of my hand and just dab it very gently Long hair. And this, that's so good, you guys. That's so good. Love cover effects. So, fun stuff. This is going to be lips. So to begin with, for that, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Weirdo, and I'm just going to put that all over my mouth. Okay, and when that is dry, I'm going to go back into Trip and pop that all over the top. Okay, so here's the final look. I'm very happy with that. I, re I really enjoy doing this. So I hope you've enjoyed watching it too. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and I hope that I will see you in my next video. Bye!